Hello everybody, Princess Neberry here, and we're back with a special delivery from... Bar Taco! Bar Taco. So, this is a local taco place here in... Orlando. Orlando. It is a chain, so there are some places across the East Coast, but... Here we go. Be sure to taco! Taco taco. Do we do the honors first? Yes, I guess I will. Do the unboxer of things? Um... Tortilla chips? Hard tortilla chips? For the salsa, maybe? Oh so boy. The guac? Here's the guac. Okay. This is large. It doesn't look large. Here's our margarita for two. <laughs> this was twenty dollars, you guys. This was this is a ripoff. 1875? I'm already saying it now, this is a ripoff. The princess is not happy about Margaret Small. That is In ridiculous. In Jacksonville, the taco place, what, a uh, mile from our house? The one night taco stand. We can get a, a half gallon jug for, the, for the, what it costs for this little thing. Yeah, that's really embarrassing. Here's our tortillas. What is this? These are all the sauces. 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 They're not labeled. That's not healthy. We got your taco builds right here. All the meats is this. And my taco build right here. And then one random bag of Let's see, I ordered... hot sauce. One they, hot sauce. So packet. they have like like sauce packets and I ordered one of each because they were free. I guess the only thing they put in here was the <laughs> one jalapeno and then like a stack. Of, okay, so what we liked about this was that they gave you like Make your own taco box. So the, the, I guess they're you know they're, they're focused on the quality of their stuff. So you get kits to make your own tacos. They don't sell them like single tacos to go. You build them at home. So here you go. This will be interesting, I guess. Very interesting. So let's uh, go ahead and get all this stuff all plated and made. Then. So now we have one of these. Uh, Margaritas for two. So sad. If it's one thing you don't ever want to do is short the princess on a margarita. I'm so mad at this right now. Like this is the size of a margarita for one, not for two. Like she would down that in a, in a, in a the distance between countries and Epcot, that would be gone. Look, I haven't even filled this glass all of the way and I'm gonna use the whole thing. This is like the saddest margarita I've had in a really, really long time. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is not worth twenty dollars. I'm sorry. Or the eighteen seventy five. Whatever, it's twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm so mad about this price. I f this is worse than Disney prices. Yeah, we would have got a bigger margarita for. Well, I mean, we paid more for less at Disney. This better be strong. Is all I'm saying. It's not strong. It's not strong at all. It's weak. It's very weak. It just tastes like lime juice. This is like your 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 like those tourist margaritas I give people. Yeah. They're like no. Nah. Mm -hmm. Like one out of five margaritas for me. It, uh, it tastes mostly like sweet and sour to me. Yeah. I'm barely even tasting any tequila. There's no tequila in that. That's just. That's a that's a, that's a two out of five applause for me. Robbery. For a place called Bar Taco, I'm not impressed with the bar part. No, me neither. Hopefully their tacos are better than their drinks, because oh uh, as of right now, I'm not, I'm not feeling too impressed. The next we'll do the guac, and I'm also not impressed with the lame chip option here. Like, what the freak is this? <laughs> Honestly, I will grab my own bag of chips to actually eat this guac, but for the purpose of this food review, I guess we're going to... Break our own chips? Break our own chips. It's not even a lot of chips. How much was this guac? Ten dollars, right? Nine seventy-five. This is the large. They had a smaller one than this. This is a large. Yeah. You could get a more table, bigger table side guac at Disney for. It's miniature, huh? Less the price. I'm oh, I'm so mad at this. 
At least the guac looks good. Yeah, it looks fresh made. Cheers. Dink. This chip is sad. The chip is. The guac is decent though. I think I use a bit more lime. There's no kick to it. Mm -mm. It's just like. It's very bland. No spice. A little spice. There's like a little bit of onion in here. This was not worth ten dollars. This is like a two out of five avocados for me. Same for me. I'm not impressed. Not with that. I'm wow. sad. These tacos better be good. That's all I'm saying. Just keep one of the blows here. This pile of whole tortillas here. Who does that? Apparently Bart Hocko does that. So here we have, we're going to do our first taco cake. You want to do the cauliflower first? Yeah, let's do cauliflower first. Okay. I love that they have a little wrap these things. It's cute. They gave us the tortillas all in the stack. So this is just cauliflower with onions and some parsley. Parsley or cilantro. And then I guess you pick a sauce. Is that what, how that works? Uh, well, apparently each of these has a unique sauce, but because they're not labeled. So we have to guess what sauce goes with what? Basically. I'm not digging this experience, you guys. Let's see what the order in my phone tells me like what went with what. Let me go grab a fork. So the experience so far is so bad that I actually had to pull up the menu to figure out which sauce went with what. Because nothing's labeled. So the Romesco sauce goes with the cauliflower tacos. So we're going to make our own taco out of these. Oh. Take a fork. Thank you for the fork. We'll take a... Some roasties. Yeah, roasted cauliflower. I'll put like two on mine, I think. They look like they could stand a little bit more roast. They feel very um, not cooked all the way through. Yeah. Like like uh, they're going to be crunchy. That and a little bit of... Not too much for me. Don't put the onion. Yeah. Too late. And then some of the green stuff. Bear just wants to kill himself sometimes, I think. I do it for the community. They're so sweet to us. Not when you're intolerant to onions. It's the worst that could happen. The onions aren't going to give me uh, You're already sick. COVID. <laughs> You're already sick. <laughs> and a little bit of this Romescu sauce. So Romesco does have nuts in it. Hopefully that'll make it good. It's a colorful looking sauce. There you go. You can see it's all it. All colorful. Oh, nice. You're not a huge taco. You're, you're used to like... Super huge American sized tacos. Probably not going to be a taco. This for is you. more traditional. Yes. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. I am not impressed by the cauliflower, but I like the sauce. We can make our own sauce probably better than this, though. The cauliflower doesn't really add anything to it. It's just there. It's really just about the sauce. And the sauce has a nice kick to it. Mm. I can kind of feel it in the back of my throat. I'm probably going to start having a runny nose here in a second. It's a small kick. I'd probably give like a 3 out of 10 on the spice scale. I would give it more like a 6 out of 10 on the spice scale. Which is about normal for it's our spicy. difference in spices. But the cauliflower needed more seasoning and definitely needed a better roasting. Agreed. It's cooked, but it, roasted is a stretch to me. Definitely not roasted. Um, I would give these tacos maybe like a two and a half out of five cauliflowers. I'd be willing to give it a two and a half out of five cauliflowers. The sauce is a three and a half. The, the sauce is good. Tacos on their own, that's a two and a half out of five cauliflowers. They're edible, but there's nothing special about these. No. This is like lazy vegan food. We can definitely make our own cauliflower tacos much better than this one. Agreed. Here we have the falafel taco. I was interested in getting falafel because falafel is good. One. And two, who puts falafel in a taco? I don't think I've had one before. 
It does usually come with a tzatziki sauce that is not vegan. We have tahini here, so I'll, I can always just add that later. It looks like it's just falafel with cilantro. cilantro? Yeah. Is there a sauce that's supposed to go with it beside the tzatziki, or is it just whatever? It's just a, it was, it was a sriracha Greek style tzatziki. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, which would have been good had it been plant-based. I'm just gonna take one falafel here. And I don't think I'm gonna do straight cilantro. I want the well, as best experience as they can provide. So. I'm just gonna eat the falafel by itself. That's just freaking sad. And this one's smooshed. Cheers. Eat. Falafel is decent. Mm. Our falafel is better. If you want to check out our falafel recipe, I'll put a link to that in the description box down below. It's way, way better than this. It has a nice crisp to it, though. I like the outside. Mm hmm. The inside leaves a bit to be desired. I would give it maybe a three or three and a half out of five chickpeas. It's falafel y. It passes. If they could do a, some sort of like plant-based tzatziki, sort of bring all this all together, I might be more convinced. Without the tzatziki, it's just falafel with cilantro. It's a two and a half out of five plus for me. Average at best. So then for the remaining bear portions, I got a slow roasted chicken, which again is just like chicken, cilantro, and onions. It looks slow roasted and it's supposed to come with like a one of these salsas. But of course, if they weren't labeled, I don't know which one is which. Now these two, I think are the salsa of the other packets of sauce I'm supposed to have. So this is a pineapple something or other, and this is a hot sauce. Again, like the execution here is somewhat half-assed, but here we go. I think what seems so sad about this so far is that it's just, they're, they're basically just bowls of protein and like cilantro and onions. Like there's nothing else really to it. Like they did have the option for you to like add additional things, but I think like lettuce was like another $3. Let's just get a little bit of the cilantro. Unless I haven't had enough cilantro today already. And then I'm just gonna pick a sauce, I guess. This looks like some sort of salsa. We'll just do that one. These things need labels, people. Here we go. The chicken's seasoned. I definitely think there's enough in here for four tacos. So it is a four taco kit. It just needs, it feels like it's missing something. It's literally just chicken and cilantro. I, mean, I put way too much cilantro there though. Sauce itself is spicy. The chicken is juicy, not dried out, and well seasoned. I'm gonna give that a three out of five plus. Here we have a slow roasted mojo pork you can see in here it's all mojo e i wish it had been shredded a bit more so i would not like to have shred this on my own with like plastic utensils which also came with another salt so i'll just use this one that we have left here and it is it's th thick chunks of pork it's definitely like enough i would say for another four tacos as advertised, but again, like the fixings on it is just cilantro and onions. I'm not putting any more cilantro. I've had no cilantro today. Dump this last bit of sauce on here. So, my protein, a tortilla, and salsa. Each of these like kits was ten fifty a piece. I guess ten fifty for four tacos isn't bad, but I don't really feel like you're getting a whole lot here.
pork is juicy. It's got that strong mojo flavor. It also doesn't add a whole lot, but it doesn't really hurt it either. I think it's probably my favorite of the two. I'm going to give that a three and a half out of five claws. Overall, if you want tacos, I guess this qualifies. As far as bar taco, this takeout experience does not make me want to go there. Like, I'm not really feeling this is something that I'd want to go in person and then sit and be even more mad at. So that was Bar Taco. That was very disappointing. I think it has barred itself from our takeout menu. We are not going back. Yes. Uh, I want to know, do you guys think we were too harsh? Have you heard or have been to Bar Taco? If so, let us know in the comments. There's enough of you. We may be willing to go visit this place in person. Right now, that's an absolute no. Yeah. But if there's any other local Orlando places you'd like to see us eat or do takeout from, by all means, in the comments going to be a place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video to save us from this tacos. Taco nightmare. Taco, taco. Burrito, burrito.